God be glad in it. Hallelujah, hallelujah. To God be the glory for all the good things he's done in our lives. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Love you. To the rest, for God has, God has obligated himself now that he says it is God that worketh in you. Yes. To will, and to, uh -huh. and to do, and to do. I mean, good pleasure. Come on. You are not allowed to work. <laughs> hey, look. So by strength with Chris, I'm healed. It's the Holy Spirit that does the healing. Get out of the way and let the Holy Spirit have his way. So the only working now, it once Christ has, has, has once the word has been made flesh. Yes. Now, now this is another question I have for you, Dollar. So if the word was in the beginning, yes. with God, yes. and the word was God. Yes. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were created by him. Yes. And without him was not anything made that was made. Come on. Okay, if the word clearly in that text is God, woo, then why does the word need to be anointed with the Holy Ghost? Mm. What it was, what the, what? <laughs> why does, why does, well, you just been, you've been quoting the verse the whole time. Yes. The, the Lord is upon me. Yes, yes. We got God. Who is with God in the creation, but has taken on flesh. And Woo. now God in flesh has the spirit of God come upon him. Woo. I'm just wondering what does that what is God trying to tell us? That when the very word that created all things, that is God himself, has to also now, once he takes on human flesh, he is now in need of the spirit of God resting upon him. Yes. What it is that's, 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 I'm just trying to get you to think man. <laughs> It, it's important to the power of the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is the anointing. The Holy Spirit is what does the work. The Holy Spirit does the healing. What that did was cause me to recognize that maybe we have not really been diligent in thinking through what we mean when we use these phrases, when we say things like the Spirit of God, the Word of God, the life of God, the grace of God. Maybe we haven't really thought through what we're really saying when we say that. And because I think a lot of times our mind, our perception of the thing we're talking about is twisted, we don't really get the full impact in terms of what, what God is really saying and what God has really done to us in Christ. Woo. And we have failed to, to, to behold the great glory of the kindness of God when he said that if any man be in Christ, he Woo. is a new creature. In Christ. In we have no idea what that means. <laughs> and he is saying if you, you, if, you, if you only understood what I have done, when I say that you are in Christ, that you are a new creature, that all things are passed away, behold, all things have become new, and all things are of God. Because we miss that, we're still out here on the help of wheel. Wow. Wow. Hey, we're we'll chewing that. We need to chew on that. We have to chew on it. It's, a, it's the Holy Spirit. It's the anointing. It's the Holy Spirit. That's why I said said, Bishop, that they don't want to blaspheme the Holy Spirit. Yeah, there is, there is, um, there is a, a place where water can actually exist in you without drowning you. Mm. And you can exist in water without it drowning you, but it has to take the form of air. And when Christ comes to live in us, he comes to live in the form of the Holy Spirit. Yes! It is God alive in us. It's Jesus alive in us that's doing the work. We're yes. not even initiating the action if it's of God. Right. Uh, so the focus for us in wow. this at this time in this dispensation i think is the man christ jesus because our submission to him is what's paramount mm. the scripture takes us to one end it's all the same every, every knee shall bow and yeah. every tongue shall confess that he is lord this to the glory of god so in this age our focus 
in our propagation of the gospel surrounds this one single point, and that's this man, Jesus. Well, I remember we got off into a point where we were worshiping the Holy Ghost at one point. And I think we were off when we did that because it's not the Holy Spirit that we should be bringing glory to. It should be the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth. We can see him and we know what his actions were. We observe him in the flesh. And so we know what we should be mimicking if we're calling ourselves a disciple. Well, I don't think so, that, that so, what the, 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 the comforter, he sent the comforter. He sent the Holy Spirit. It's the Holy Spirit that is, is you know, is, is, you know, I want to throw something at you before we close out. And we can get ready for communion, those who, who have uh, communion stuff. You know, Brother Asson, if you get your communion stuff, <laughs> if you get the communion stuff, we'll be ready to go. But look at this right here, Bishop. From the beginning. Verse 1 and 2. It's back to... It's, in, in the beginning, it was God and the Spirit of God that, that moved upon the waters upon the face of the water. So in the beginning, God created the heavens and the earth, and the earth without void, form and void, and darkness was upon the face of the deep. And the Spirit of God, you know, you and I was talking about that the other day when we were talking about the throne of God. There was the Spirit of God, those seven spirits we were talking about. It's the Spirit of God, it's one. See, I don't think we understand the Godhead. I think we just got some praises that we throw around. Yeah. I don't really understand the Godhead. And so when it comes down to us and how we're to move in this earth, we're confused because we don't really understand how this thing really works. But all I know that when he said that you're in Christ, you are a new creature. Yes, sir. And then all things will pass away. He's saying, the look, the old way wouldn't work, couldn't work. Mm -hmm. I had to make provision. Yeah for a new kind of creature. When we look at Jesus, we see the creature that God ordained us to be. Yeah. Amen. All Amen. All said, but that was Jesus. And God has said, but that's what I created you to be. Yes. But remember that scripture where it says, know you not that the Father was in the Son reconciling the world to himself. But, and remember not to, to the scripture that says, my Father and I are one. Yes, sir. And, and Christ prays that we become one even as he and the Father are one. So that oneness that Bishop oft times speaks of is the is the is the goal that we're moving toward. It's not separation from God, but it's actually a, a union with Him. The intimacy of the Father of Christ moving in and through us. Yes. We should when people see us, we should be like the image on a television screen when the RL perfects its receiver. We should manifest, and even as we looked at in, in, in what was it called the, the 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 trilogy of the movies, the Matrix. They saw, they could see the stream of data that formed what they were looking at. That stream of data for us is the Lord Jesus Christ. We are the manifestation of that data when we yield our <laughs> to Peter. Bless you, sir. So there is a, there is a, I think, direct correlation to how well we manifest Christ in, with our, in, in comparison to our obedience. If we are totally obedient as Jesus, the manifested image of the invisible God, it was then we'll manifest the same image as God the Father is manifesting even now. He was the light of the world, We, the revelation of the world. We are now the light of the world. The same signal he received is the same signal that's being brought here. But how we yielded to the point where we can manifest that signal. Yeah, yeah. And I, and I think that's what things, and when we talked about being defiled, what things in us cause us not to manifest that signal? What habits did we develop in the flesh that prevents us from even seeing, hearing it? You know, there, there's some things that happen even now that we do that prevents us from even being able to detect. <laughs> oh. But do you know, I think there's that power though, back to the fact that we can't be one with Say Christ. One, we can't be one with Christ, one with God without the Holy Spirit. That's the, the Christ, the Holy Spirit is what makes us one with God. Is what connects us to God, right? Because even when I looked at, I was looking at the beginning back, this too, no, no, listen. He is he is the means. He is the Holy Spirit. Listen, what makes you one with God are the same things that make Christ one with him. There are three things that distinguish the life of Christ. Three things. 
there is absolute and total denial of himself. Yes, sir. There's absolute and total surrender to God. Yes, sir. There's absolute and total dependence upon God. Yes, sir. Those three things, denial, surrender, dependence. If, 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 if when those three, three things are present, then God has full <coughs> access and control to all of the sources of your person. Yes, sir. The whole you now is available to God for his use. And what what's that connection though? And I'm saying is that even as it for God, God, once that's in place, that's what the Spirit of God is trying to affect in you so that God can work through you. Through you, right. And and, and that's why I'm saying is that even when from the beginning when we were made, verse two, the Holy, the Holy Spirit is the, is, is the connection. We well, became, God breathed the Holy Spirit into man and man sir. became a living soul. Right. And so like, yeah. what, what God put into man, yeah. man took on another oh, we dead just, spirit right. yeah we disconnected which disconnected exactly. so uh all things are passed away that yes, is right. satan uh -huh. your father's dead spirit has passed away right. and all things have become new back to the garden back, back to, to garden. god breathing Woo. The, the Holy spirit, spirit back into man. Yes. So we are no different than, than Christ who was born in this flesh. Yes. Of made, you know, the flesh of a woman. Come on. With the 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 the, 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 the blood of God. Come on. Which was separated. Come on. From yes. Satan. Come on. Until the Holy Spirit Where? came on him. Uh huh. Then that was the connection. That was a reconnection. He was he was he was a, a, a sinless man. Exactly. Until that that point. Come on. And then the same thing on the day of Pentecost, the Holy Spirit rested, and all of us who are born again is the Holy Spirit in us doing the work through us. But he's not he's not resting. He's no, indwelling. He, he's indwelling. He's indwelling. He, he dwells within us. Yeah. He, and he, <laughs> and him we, we move and we have our being. Go so no different than, than Adam existed. Yes. By his connection to God. Woo! His 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 need to be with God. Yes. You know, and his 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 whole function was of God. Of God, yes, sir, and and, he, and following God's will. So right. once he did, once Ooh. he got outside of that, he was disconnected. Yes, 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 yes. But we're now connected, right? And we're right back to that same. Yeah, yeah, but point. yeah, but but what's connected is not the old you. No. Yes. No. No. It's, and it's, we keep see, we keep dragging the old. We yeah, keep drag yeah. the old new. Yeah. In Christ. Right, and that's what, the problem. And if you understand what God is saying to you, it is impossible. It's impossible. And anything from the old <laughs> should enter into the new. That, the new. And, that, and, that's, and that's the struggle, I guess, we deal with. But I like the fact that in John 4, 24, God is a spirit. Uh, and those who worship him must worship him in spirit. Yes. What you need. And in truth. Amen. So in, in, in essence, we are new wine yes, and sir. old wine skins in this yeah. old wine skin it got must burst. cease to exist. Hey, it's gonna burst. And burst, hey, it's gonna burst into burst. a new wine until we get a glorified. Come on now. <laughs> now don't, don't be too excited because think, listen now. Yeah. Just, just so you don't forget. Yes, sir. God made, made, made the word become flesh and this becomes the new creature. Yes. Uh, uh -huh. Listen. You get taken up into the new creature. Yes, yes, sir. Yes, sir. If any man be in Christ, in Christ. yes, sir. Yes, so, sir. So, so God ain't God ain't God ain't trusting and looking to you. To, he done already designed the thing. Yeah. He, done already, he done already manifested the thing in the earth and had the thing move in the earth Woo! and demonstrate that what he purposed could be realized yes. inside of flesh. 
Yes, sir. You know, he said, what am I doing now? Woo. Don't you suck it because the only way you get in is I ain't going to do something to you independent. I'm going to take you up into him. Yes, sir. <laughs> and it's your being in him and him in you that makes it possible Woo. <laughs> for you to have a chance. So yeah. it's really, that's why all things are done to the glory of the Son who is yeah. glorifying the Father. Glorifying oh. the Father. Yeah. You ain't got nothing to run your mouth about. We ain't got nothing, nothing to pull our horns on. Can't, can't, can't boast <laughs> about one thing. Woo. We've been taken up. Woo! <laughs> and any time yeah. you try to act outside of your taking upness. <laughs> Holy Spirit, there's no <laughs> Hey, so so elder, what you need to do is put that puppet inside your hand. Yo, uh, woo! And that will be the representation <laughs> that we need. <laughs> <Woo>. <laughs> there you go. That's the outside. He's working on the inside. Come on now. But when, but when people meet he, he, he's working on the inside. Yeah. <laughs> this, 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 is, this is what's moving. And I think this would be the representation of God in us. And yeah. this would be us in, in, in the proper state. We should just be relaxed, chilled. We don't enter into that rest. We are on the Sabbath. We ain't working God, working. You see what I'm saying? Yes, sir. Walk in the anointing. Walk in the anointing of God. Yeah. We should be, we should, he should be walking through us in a sense. He should be moving through us. He should be the one that's actually doing everything. That's why he said, take his yoke. His yoke, he's the one that's doing the work. It, 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 one of my friends said, like a 500 pound ox. What you got to do if you run alongside a 500 pound ox except hang on? You know what I'm saying? So these guys knew who it was that was working through them. Yes, sir. And, 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 and so they were able to do it. So and so the focus has become, and, and we're really turning a corner here as far as Christianity in America is concerned, because for us it's always been about changing our external environment to accomplish those things that we think need to be done. But well, what actually is happening is God changing our internal environment so He can do for us what He needs done. Yes, sir. We have to yield ourselves to His leading and His guiding. We have to relax and just just chill out. And yes, just sir. Abide in Him. Don't. Don't lust. Don't go after the stuff that's going to defile you. Don't get prideful. Don't get all these things. Just chill. Leave that stuff alone. It's never been about the external. It's always been about the internal. Yes, always. So, always. so let's let's go back to the puppy. You should never see the puppy. Woo! Yes, you you should only see the hand. Woo! Oh, so the puppet. Don't bring the puppet up no more. <laughs> when you bring that puppet up, then you working in and of yourself. No, 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 that, 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 that's actually. Take, Take the puppet, puppet off <laughs> and, and demonstrate the spirit. Come on, <laughs> That's man. what we need to see. I, I, I disagree with that, Carl. You want to get that Waffle House? What them people saw was mine. <laughs> Woo! But what they were going here Woo! in the experience was Christ. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yeah. I'm all yeah. myself. <laughs> but all they got, all they got was the puppet. <laughs> <Woo>! <laughs> That's only a puppet. <laughs> yep. Papa's not annoying. <laughs> well, let's pray that that never happens again. Let's pray the next time. Amen. 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 Hey, hey, you want to do our communion? Oh, okay. <laughs> I got you. That's a that's God, thank you for this communion. Thank you, Father God, for the communion with your spirit. And thank you, Father, for being in the midst of us. You said we're two or three are gathered together in your name. There we you are in the midst. And we feel your presence this morning. There's some things that we are, we are we're experiencing, Lord, that just, man, I just thank you for it as we take this communion to remember on the night that you were betrayed you took bread you break it and you gave it to your disciples and said take eat all of you for this is my body which shall be shed which shall be broken for you whenever you do this do this in remembrance of me and so they took this bread and they ate it they broke it When you do the fin when you finish prayers, don't forget that uh, Jimmy already did an uh, opening prayer for Chris for healing. But uh, you can do just add that into it for healing. Well, let's just give thanks for it. We ain't gonna pray for something over again. Amen. Whoa! Hallelujah! Let's just believe that it's done. Let's pray it up. It's, it's done. Hallelujah! Hey, that's what. Hey. 
Hey, that's where I'm at. That's why I went on, got up, did my walk like I'm supposed to every Sunday. I got up. I'm still moving, bro. Hallelujah. After when supper was ended, he gave, again, he gave thanks and praise. He took the cup, blessed it, gave it to his disciples and said, take, drink all of you. This is my blood, which shall be shed for you and for all men. Which shall be shed for you and for all men. Which shall be shed for you and for all men. Amen. As sins may be forgiven. Whenever you do this, do it in remembrance of me. Mm. And so they took the cup yes, and sir. they drank. And after that, they sang a song and went unto Gethsemane. Sang, sang him. No, it was the blood. Come on now. No, it was the blood. It was the blood. Yeah. Huh? The blood. It's the blood to heal Chris. It's the blood to heal you. It's the blood to heal us. You did it right. I ain't forget my roots. <laughs> no matter how corrupt, I don't get up. And you the closing friend. Uh, just uh, like I said, thank you guys for healing. Uh, Christopher, and uh, Lord, all of us, really, God bless you. Lord God, our, our healing, as, as, as Brother Sipo said, the healing occurred in Garden Eve. Or at Gethsemane, not in the Garden Eve, but at Gethsemane, when you shed your blood to restore our record, to reconcile our relationship with the Father. And now because of your shed blood, we can be one with the Father again. Even before the fall in the garden, we return to the same spiritual state. And we reap the same spiritual benefits as it was in the garden prior to the fall. And healing was in the garden. Healing is in Christ, in the Father. There was no death. There was no sickness. All these things were accomplished by you, Lord Jesus. When we, when you shed your blood of Calvary to reconcile us to our Father. And we thank you for the reconciliation, Father. We thank you for having allowed our Savior, our Lord, Jesus Christ of Nazareth, to restore us to the former state that we enjoyed in your presence prior to the fall. We thank you for having restored us, Lord, for reconciling us to you. And now we ask you, Father, to continue to, to renew our mind, to restore our, our minds, Lord God, to remembrance of those things that we had prior to our fall. We are the sons of God. By virtue of what Jesus has done and our acceptance of it, we are the offspring of the Almighty. And all that he is, is in us. And all of that manifested to our benefit. So we pray, Father God, now, whatever it is that our minds would contrive or imagine that separates us from you, that you would help us to identify and to eradicate it. Yeah. You said in your word that we confess our sins, that you are faithful and just to forgive us of our sins and to cleanse us of all in right. Mm. Wherever there's anything in us, Lord God, that's not like you, we're confessing it before you now, and even as you call it, Woo. come on, we confess it before you, mm. that you might have free reign in our lives, not only to heal, not only to deliver, not only, Father, to empower, but, Lord God, to work through us to save. You said in your word, you work within us both the will and to do of your good pleasure. And so this morning we come surrendered to you, Lord God, and as much as in us, we die to, to your will. We die to our will and we live to yours. Lord God, separate us from these vessels of these bodies of death. Lord, help us, deliver us, Lord God, from even as Paul said, these vessels that confine us to separation. Lord, unite with us. Reconcile us, reconcile us, and manifest your glory through us. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen and amen. amen. I want to walk on water, man. <laughs> hey, hey. Just freeze it. You'll be good. I've been working on that. <laughs> what the other brother said, the secret to walking on water is knowing where the rock that. <laughs> or the river. <laughs> Well, a lot of us, that's true. Yeah. <laughs> I would be more impressed if you died to yourself. <laughs> hey, me, me too. <laughs> me too, my brother.
Me too. Amen. Praise God. Amen. Amen. You did good, brother. Hey, Chris. Yes, sir. You have it. You got the word, sir. Amen, yeah, man. Thank you. Yes, sir. Good. Yes, sir. Thank Amen. you for the healing. All things through prayer and supplication with thanksgiving, right? Yes, yes sir. sir. Thank you, Father God, for the healing of our brother. Amen. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. <laughs> hey, thank you for the healing of my eyes. Thank you, Woo! Lord. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. It will manifest in accordance with his word. According to his word, his word. It Amen. has manifest. It has Amen, manifest. man. Breach. 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 We are, right? Healed. Amen, man. Yeah. We just have to receive it. Amen. Amen.